Hello everybody, it's George from Shop2 here and today we have finally got our hands on Forza Horizon 4. I've been so excited to get stuck into this game and from what I've seen so far and what I've heard it sounds phenomenal and it looks phenomenal so I can't wait to get playing. So uh, we're just going to get straight into it with our first play. I'm going to not talk over the cutscenes or try my best to because you know it doesn't always work out. Um, do we want subtitles? Yeah, why not? Colorblind mode, we don't need that on. Barely visible, no HDR display. Okay, and yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely buzzing for this. The UK setting is just going to be so nice. Obviously, I don't know we'll like recognize that many places, but just it being in the UK is enough for me, and I'm I'm just super excited to uh, get playing, and it's going to be. It's going to be an epic game, I think. It's going to be one that I tried to play to completion, I think. And uh, I, I really enjoyed Horizon 3. Uh, and uh, Horizon 4 just looks to be more of the same. So I might end up picking up the expansion pass. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm just so excited to get playing today. So um, hopefully we'll be straight into it after this little bit of loading. Because I know there's usually not much loading. So hopefully it won't be much longer. But yeah, big game for Xbox this, and uh, it looks like it's, you know, it's doing very, very well review-wise. So I'm sure, as a lot of PlayStation players are very jealous. Here's what I see. I see a festival that never ends. Where you can be whatever you want to be. It's not your dream holiday anymore. It's your dream life. That's the horizon I see. Let me show you. Welcome to autumn. A new beginning for the festival that never ends. Don't go anywhere. Horizon is here to stay. I love the transitions in the intros on these games. It's just so awesome. And we're straight into the McLaren Senna here. Personally, not a huge fan of the way this car looks. But I imagine it's an absolute animal on the track. Um, but yeah, we're up against a... What is that? A Ferrari FFX? Or is it a LaFerrari? No, it is an FFX. FXX? I don't know. And then there's a Vulcan in front of us here. But look at the colours, man! They look so good! I love it! We're in autumn at the moment. I'm sure we're going to go through the seasons because this is a big thing for them this year as we hit that side and take out a lot of that wall because we're, you know, a bit rusty, haven't played for a while. Oh, that would have killed the car. Apparently the sheep physics are fantastic, like it's really hard to actually run a sheep over, which I think is quite funny. Not that you'd want to run a sheep over, obviously, I just think I like that they put so much time into making sure that you can't do that. Apparently you can buy houses and stuff in this game. Um, I don't really know how that works, but as you heard her say in the intro, it's not a holiday, it's a life. So I'm interested to see how that works out. So we move into winter. River's frozen over. There's snow on the road. What better place to have seasons than the UK? I mean, we have a bit of everything in a year here. Song of Ice and Tires. Big jam. We're racing on a frozen river. Oh, it's very, very slippery. <laughs> oh, I'm already loving this so far. Bit of RG bargy. There's some fireworks going off over there. We're onto a road now, so it's not quite as slippy, but it is still quite slippy. And look at the, the car that we're in as well. We're in like a trophy truck, and it's super slippy. So, uh, oh, we missed the checkpoint. My bad. I'm trying to do too much to walk in. Um, but, yeah, we're in a trophy truck, and it's slippy. So imagine how it's going to be if you're, you're just driving around in like a supercar in the weather like this. It's going to be nuts. Going through those walls, those all familiar signposts that you see on every sharp corner in the UK. Oh, there's a festival off to the right, look at that. Looks pretty cool. All the lights are, are nice. I'm 
Do reckon it started us in autumn because it's autumn at the moment and they're like, well, that's when most people would be getting the game, so it makes sense that we do it autumn. Don't know, who knows. And across a little river there that wasn't frozen, running quite wide on that corner. I was hoping we could drive through that and thankfully we could. We're going to move into spring. Okay, we've got 800 meters to finish. Look at all the lasers and the lights. The lights are fantastic. Look at the colors. Imagine this looks so good on an HDR screen. Nailed the landing. Spring. Bit of rain. Very calm. Very green. Oh, doing a bit of rallying in a fiesta. Wait, you can get bikes in this game? Can you, can you actually ride bikes? Love the English accents. They're absolute madmen. Look, they're wheeling. They've got, like, smoke. It's awesome. Doing epic jumps everywhere. Beat the bikes. But they're mad. How am I supposed to beat the bikes? They're all over the place. Oh, okay. Gone wide there. Very wide. Handling is different in this than it was in the last two cars. As you would expect. So it's taken me a bit of getting used to. Especially on the mud. It feels different to the ice, which is weird. Because uh, obviously they're both very slippery surfaces. But to be able to feel the difference like that is, is pretty cool. Epic jumps from the bike boys. Hey Blue, spread the needle with me. No braking needed on that corner. Just use the, the skids to our advantage. Epic jump. I love the like the showcase down, events. They're so well like designed and yeah, just designed the way like everything crosses over Let's and everything works. Oh, we're going to get him. See, there you go. It's one of those things where it's a very close finish. It's always a close finish. We're back in the McLaren. Oh, we're in some classics. Or are we in an M2? Uh, I don't mind. Oh, what? A great race. It's a very high speed start. Back in the McLaren Center. It's mad. Look how good it all looks, just flying past. Absolutely gunning it in this McLaren. People are lining the streets to get a load of the Oof, That was close. There's the Centenario from Horizon 3. Is this a Chiron? Yep, Bugatti Chiron. So we come up the inside. We got some awesome racing trucks out there too. We'll watch out for the trucks just joining the race. There's a Vulcan that we just rear-ended. And there's an FXX, as I said earlier. Go up around the outside. Got a bit of big contact there, but we got past. This car is an absolute animal. I need to get back into those, like... Oh, we come past the Aventador for the win. I need to get back into the very, like fine adjustments you need to make when driving on this because I haven't played like a proper racer in a little while but yeah that was the intro mission pretty damn awesome getting a look at all the seasons a few different types of cars my playthrough this year I'm not going to be buying any cars off of the transfer the online store or whatever it is just going to play with the cars we unlock I try my best is everyone here yep all here boss ready and raring Great. Okay. Do we have George here? I don't know. Do we? What do I, who do I look like? I guess this is the most 
me looking kind of bloke, even though I don't look anything like that. But we'll go with that one. He looks like a happening dude. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm Kira, director of the festival. Looks like you've made a good impression with our talent scouts. This one might have a real chance of taking a spot on the roster. Rebecca's one of our former champions. She's giving me a hand running the Horizon Road Racing Series. Excited? I remember my first day at Horizon. It's all pretty surreal, huh? I'll leave you two to get set up for the first race. Good luck. Right then, let's get you behind the wheel. Which one will it be? Which one will it be? Focus RX, TTRS, or a uh, Charger? I don't really... I'm kind of tempted to go for the Focus, you know. I had a TTRS in... Um... Oh, it's a TTS, not a TTRS. I had a TTS in the Crew 2, so I'm going to go for the uh, Focus RS. It's one of those cars that you see nice roaring choice. around the streets of Maybe the UK anyway, so... Right yeah. Right Britain, don't you know? Was it? Didn't know that. I guess it's to appeal to the... Uh... I don't know what to... You know, describe them as old people would call them yobbos. I t I disagree, <laughs> but uh, yeah. What should we go with? I'm gonna go with uh, what I go. But oh, okay, you can do that. So what? Uh, what what should we go for? Yeah, there we go. Trudy. <laughs> Banter. Anyway, we're in our fo focus. R what was it? Focus ST. Focus RS. Focus. I expect you want to get a feel for focus. your new car. So I've oh, two you races. To get you started. See you there. All right. Uh, we'll do. We'll do the far away one first. Want a bit of driving. So yeah, focus RS in blue. Can we change the color? I'm down for changing the colour. I enter the festival, see if we can change the colour. Um, right. My yeah, we're not gonna be using the auction house, or I'm not gonna be using the auction house. I'm not uh, down for that. Can we get like a cool paint or design? Did I? Okay, yeah. Um find new designs. I guess we'll just do paint for now. Can we just paint that? Bonnet. Do, you want, do we want a black bonnet? I don't know if we want a black bonnet. Black the windows out. Black those wheels out. Ooh. I kind of like the spoiler how it is. Wing mirrors. Black those out. Overall spray. So we can have it black, blue, grey, or white. Have we got any different special colours this time? I'm kind of down for just keeping it blue, maybe, if there's not many other options. Colour fine tune. It looks alright in white. Let's just keep it blue, if that's uh, one of the manufacturer colours that they want us to have. Yeah, we'll keep it blue. Cool. That's good enough for me. Just a few little cosmetic upgrades there, but they uh, are improving the look of our car nonetheless. Oh, stop saving. Do not turn off my device. I'm not going to turn off my device. Don't worry. Alright, here we go. Alright, off we go. Off to our first race. Don't know what radio station this is. I hope we get a bit of Bass Arena, though. There better be Bass Arena. Soundtrack for Forza games is always awesome. So I'm, I'm, I'm very uh, hopeful that there's a Bass Arena. All right, off we go in our Focus RS into that engine purr. Look at these colours. Oh, base arena. There we go. Good stuff. Have a look inside. Looks like a Ford. <laughs> I didn't mean to rear end uh, my friend Mike there. But it just kind of happened. It was just messing with the controls. Uh, and just, yeah. 
I've got Syndicate added as a friend, even though he's not my friend. Like, I added him back in the day when I used to be like a little fanboy all those years ago on Xbox 360. But, uh, yeah, I've got some interesting people on my friends list. Heavy breaking here for the bend. Heavy, I say heavy breaking and then proceed to just not do it. Please don't, you know, judge me based off of my driving here. <laughs> The car's quite heavy, especially compared to the uh, McLaren we were just driving. But yeah, I, I'm pretty sure houses like this you can purchase and have as almost like a base of operations, I think. Which sounds interesting. 400 meters turn left. There you go. I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to handle, because so far I'm not a huge fan of the old Focus RS, but I'm sure it'll be alright in a race. You have arrived at your destination. Anyway, what's the race all about? What are we going to be doing? Street race? I think it's a street race. This is a tune! I had this in a playlist like, what, a year ago? Oh, I love the soundtracks for these games. Perform here. And someday, who knows? Who knows? Find space for you on, the roster. on the roster? You better put me on the roster. I intend on playing all of this game, so you better find space for me on the roster. Base Arena. 17 MK. Right, so we're up against some other hatchbacks here. Silver Shane, if you're watching this video, you are featuring in this video via a driver tar. <laughs> what are they, Hyundai's? We've got an old Audi A3 in front of us. In front of that, there's another Focus, I think. An older Focus. Yeah, and then in front of that, I don't know what that is. I need to get a bit closer to have a better look. Made up some time there. Oh, it's an A class. Up the inside of those two, round the outside of the A class, maybe. Yes, nice, good stuff. What's this? A golf? Yeah, an old golf uh, GTO. As we pass Wesman B for the lead, these early races are always kind of easy. Interesting little track here, though, weaving up the hills. Power down as you come out the corner. Hit 70 before braking for the next. And back on ourselves. Nice. We can go flat out through here, can't we? Oh, I lifted. I lifted. I was. I didn't have the balls. I lifted. Good job that the uh, traffic signs and stuff, the road signs, don't slow you down that much. Because I'd be uh, having a few issues if they did. Okay, I changed my mind on this focus. It grips quite well in the corners. Like. So if you get like halfway through the corner, you could like now you could be on the full power and it will just just drive it out. Like won't lose its back end or anything. It's quite nice. And here we go up to the finish line. Uncontested. I don't know what the setting is on. Whatever it was on by default, we might have to change that. But yeah, there we go. First place in our first race in the RS. It's a 2017 one. Yeah, there we go. So we had uh, oh, 09 Ford Focus in there. And uh, a few people in those Hyundai's. I was the winner. I'm getting clapped by people. I'm pretty sure you can get emotes after races, and some of them look quite funny. So I'm looking forward to uh, seeing those. Thanks, Rebecca. Keep performing like that, and you'll be invited to the next round of the series. Nice. Total influence. 20, 2008. If only it was that easy, eh? Just gain 2,800 influence by doing a race. I'd be all over the racing scene. Is that Lacazette? Tell me this guy doesn't look like Alexander Lacazette. You really are the image of Frankie Beaumont. Sorry. Tell me he doesn't. He looks like a Lacazette. Do I have an opportunity for you? There's a movie shooting nearby that's in need of a stunt driver. Short notice, I know, but what do you say? 
Well, short sure, notice. It depends when I've got to do it. He's a stunt coordinator for the movie. Do we want to go and do that? Sure, let's do that. We'll do that and then the other race, and then I'll call it for the, uh, hey, the video. I don't want to make it too long. Your radio should have presets for our resident horizon stations. Horizon, horizon Pulse, Pulse Space, horizon Arena. Space Arena, Horizon Block Party, and Horizon XS. See what takes your fancy. What's XS? I'm keeping it on base arena, but what's XS? I don't remember that. Three kilometers to get to this stunt race. Ooh, that was close. It handles quite well, actually. If you learn the car, and it's quite quick to learn, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. To that corner pretty nicely. To that corner okay as well. It's a very sharp right. Oh, there was a pile up in front of us. That's not my fault. Can I cut through here? Ah, <laughs> yes. You don't think expect you can go through those walls, but you you just can. I'm already absolutely loving this game. I'm gonna lose so much of my life to uh, Forza over the next few. Uh, Weeks. I wanted to take this entrance anyway. <laughs> what is this going to be? A stunt thing? I don't know what this could be. Uh, did we, I don't think these were on the previous game, so unless they were called something else. The Stunt Driver, Chapter yeah, 1. Are. What the hell? It sounds the awesome. Screen. Hardly the doppelganger you promised. You having a laugh? They're like twins. Uh, you'll do. Mike Steele, by the way. Today's shoot's a getaway scene. Head over to Broadway Village. We've got everything set up there. The kid better be as good as you say. We're in a sheer on. Right. Didn't take long, did it? Let's step on it, yeah? We don't want to lose the light. Oh my god, listen to it. It sounds like an absolute animal. What's it like inside? I can't see. Have a look at the interior. That's my fault. I don't want to damage this Chiron. Not that it makes a difference, but... That was close. <laughs> Sorry, I have to concentrate sometimes. I just can't talk. So, I have to beat the target three minutes. And I went the wrong way. Already. Good stuff. This car is an absolute animal. Listen to it. It looks so nice as well. You made it. Chiron. That was quick. Uh, right. Let's get everything set up. That was quick. I mean, I went the wrong way. Overshot a corner, but You're going in at the deep end. But at least you look the part now. This is a classic car escape. The hero's being chased by a jet and escapes by jumping through an old windmill. Don't ask. <laughs> if you're as good as Joel says, there should be no trouble. Hey, remember to breathe, kid. Just don't let it get away from you. I'll talk you through it, you'll be fine. Alright, this sounds pretty exciting to be honest. Jump further than the target distance. Oh, okay, so they're like these things, but there's a bit of a build up. There's a jet. This is mad. Jet plane, so what? You'll just keep that needle in the red. Maybe do some evasive maneuvers. Evasive maneuvers. I don't need to do any evasive maneuvers. Whoa! And the baddies overshot you, and a hero is safe. For now. Good. This is all good stuff. Back corner of it. Relax, kid. We're not done. Keep it loose and fast up the hill, then back down. Still got the jump to do. Loose and fast. Would they really be using a Bugatti Chiron for this? Surely they could find a more cost effective so you're gonna cut across the field. Car. Alien ship or something. This film Don't sounds interesting. Coverage, okay? you just line it up, floor it, pray. Through the old windmill. Hey, eyes forward. Ignore the camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> 
everyone. That jump was mad. Reckon you can do that again? I'll give you a number to casting. Call you if there's another job. That was actually really fun. We had those in the last game, but they didn't have the build up, and I kind of liked the build up there. Like it made you give you a reason why you were doing it. I haven't got to drive a cool car, of course. The stunt driver level. Oh, nice. Got 10,000 credits. There's a lot of rumors flying around that you've landed a spot at a new movie. Make sure you save time to take part in the autumn season when you're rich and famous. Look at the colors again. Hello. I'm Anna. Oh, your welcome Anna. Natural navigation assistant. I'll help you explore the festival and find activities throughout the UK. The UK. Okay, George. I have plotted your route to a new race in the Horizon Road Racing series. Okay, thanks, Anna. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Alright, so is this taking us to that n next race? Or well, regardless of wherever it's going? Wait, is there a race here? Is that what she was saying? I mean, I've already done this. Continue? Nah, we're gonna go and do that race, I think. It was off back this way, wasn't it? Right, we're gonna go do this race here. Cool. Let's head over there then. Yeah, that was quite fun. I enjoyed that stunt thing. Hopefully we get plenty more of that. Turn sharp left. Once again, Anna, there's a sharp left and then there's this sharp left. Turn sharp left. Don't mind about crashing my old RS, just not the uh, <laughs> just not the Chiron. Look at all the, the hot air balloons. That looks cool. There. Oh well high up. There's loads of them. There's an old uh, defender there. Some more of these hatchbacks. It's on the Civic Type R there. Struggles a bit up the hill, this RS, but, um, you know, it's not like a high end supercar, is it? It's no Chiron. Hundred and forty two, hundred forty four, forty five, forty six. Arrive at your destination. Oh, I didn't realise I was going to crash there. You have arrived at your destination. Horizon Festival Sprint. Okay, what have we got in store here? A bit of loading, obviously. Okay. We're up against a similar kind of cars as last time, so let's just go straight into it. Silver Shay into our right, instantly up into seventh. He needs to work on his starts. I'm kidding. I'm gonna stay off the racing line. Oh, we're gonna drop in. I think actually, I was gonna see if I could go up the inside, but wouldn't have worked out. I don't think. We've got to get past the muzzer here. At some point. Get out of the way! There we go. Come up the inside. A little bit later on the braking. Good stuff. See if we can get up the inside of Syndicate here. Looks like uh, enabling Terror 1 sort of same idea. Oh, I thought we were going to have a bigger bend than that. Would have kept going otherwise. Or oh, we might be able to take all four of them here. I reckon we got the speed for this. Yeah, let's go. Straight up into first. Took that corner nicely. And again, not bad through there. A bit off the racing line, but hit the wall. Shocking. 
shocking. Look at the view, look at the hills. Just take it all in. It's lovely. Come around this big sweeping right hander. Off the line again. Are we going to hit the wall? Yes, because it understeers. Anyway, it doesn't matter. We got the job done, however scrappy it may have been towards the end. First place again. I'm going to change the difficulty and turn down some of the driver aids, I think. Because uh, I. Although I think it might have the same settings as Horizon 3 did, because I'm assuming it like, carries over. But I did change the settings to play out in the. Uh, the communal room with my mates in my flat because they weren't as experienced as I am. But uh, I might turn it up a little bit because I like a little bit of a challenge. I've put you through to the next round of the Horizon Road Racing Series. How could I not with you driving like that? But it doesn't start until autumn. Can you amuse yourself until then? To autumn? What is it? Summer? That's ages. That's like a few months. You've caught the eye of Alex, one of our Horizon superstars. He's looking for new racers to take part in the Dirt Racing Series. Okay, dirt racing series, cool. Uh, I'm gonna call it there for uh, my first play of Forza Horizon 4. Absolutely loving it so far. Um, I don't really know what more I can say. I've just kind of described it throughout the uh, video. It looks fantastic. The setting is perfect. The uh, updated events this time around, like that stunt series thing that we did a bit of, looks really fun. I hope we see more of that throughout the game. And I'm just buzzing to, uh, to uh, you know, have another Forza to be playing. Another Horizon to be playing, should I say. As I said, I'm not going to be buying stuff off of the uh, car exchange thing. We're just going to use the cars we unlock. Uh, because I feel like it's a little bit, I don't know, almost a bit uh, boring when you just go and buy like a hurricane or something really early on. So yeah, we're just going to use the cars that we uh, stumble across in barn finds or just get given through the, the game's progress. So yeah, let me know what you think uh, of this video down in the comments below. Check out in the description the links to buy your copy and uh, check out my initial thoughts that I'll write up and put in down there as well. So yeah, make sure you grab a copy of this if you're on Xbox. It's absolutely awesome so far and I'm definitely going to be playing a lot more. Stay tuned for my review if you uh, want a little bit more uh, evidence as to why you should buy it. But yeah, it's been uh, my first play of Forza Horizon 4 and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.